So we're going to look at how to do a salinity measurement. Salinity, simply put, is just looking at the amount of salt that is in the soil. So that's mostly chlorides and sulfates of sodium, calcium, magnesium, potassium. Now, pure water does not conduct electricity very well, but as you dissolve more salt in it, it does conduct electricity. So what we actually measure is the electrical conductivity, sometimes called the EC for short. So what we do is add water to the soil and then measure the conductivity of that extract. You can measure it in the field, but we're going to do it in the lab today by making a saturated soil paste. So you take distilled water that doesn't have any salt in it already and you want to start adding it to your soil sample. So I've already weighed out 250 grams of soil that's air dried and it's been sieved to two millimeters. So you want to take your distilled water and a little spatula and start wetting it down the side. Now you don't want to completely drench the soil, but just make sure that it's starting to get wet. And what you're aiming for is to get a saturated paste so that there's no extra water standing on the surface, but the entire soil is wet. It's a bit of a subjective process, but you can also do a specific ratio of water. So one to two um, soil to water, but the saturated paste is more standardized and more common. And you always have to specify the soil water ratio that you used with your result. So that's getting close, but needs to be fine-tuned a little bit. This is a paste that I've already made yesterday. You can see the surface is a bit shiny, but there's no pooling water if I make a hole. And another test is that if I draw a line in here, it's going to be able to fill back in. So the entire sample is moist and able to flow. That's what you're aiming for with your, with your saturated paste. So after you've made your saturated paste, there's a few exceptions. If you have a peat or muck soil, you're going to want to let it have an overnight wetting period, and also if there's gypsum present. Um, if you're only measuring the electrical conductivity, if you let it sit for about 15 minutes, that's okay. But if you're going to measure the actual ions in the extract, you want to let it equilibrate for about 16 hours before you do the filtering and actually make the extract. So after you're happy with your saturated paste, you want to get ready to filter it. So you want to take a vacuum flask and then attach a Buchner funnel of an appropriate size on top. And that just has lots of little holes in the top. And so we need to put a filter paper on there. The filter paper size that we use is a Wattman number 42. And put that in the top of the funnel. Then attach the vacuum flask to the vacuum apparatus. We want to put our saturated paste into the top of the funnel. It's pretty sticky, but you just need to scoop it all out. You want to turn on the vacuum. So it is a pretty thick solution. It takes a while for it to actually pull the water out with the vacuum. And you can see a really slow drip has started already. But especially if you have a fine textured soil, it's going to take a while to filter. You can walk away and come back later after it's completely dry. Here's a sample that I filtered yesterday and you can see that it's completely dried out and it's starting to crack on the top. No more water was dripping out 
and all of the filtrate is in the bottom. You can see it's not a huge amount, it's less than the amount of water that I added when I was making the paste. And now we need to measure the electrical conductivity of the filtrate. So we need an electrical conductivity meter. There's different sorts of meters. Um, an example of a meter that you might find in a lab is like this and you take the reading off of here and this is the probe that you stick into the sample. We also have a field type of meter that is a bit newer and has a digital readout and that's the one I'm going to use to take the reading on our filtrate today. We want to put that filtrate into a different container so take off the funnel and grab a smaller container and transfer the filtrate. So we're going to measure the conductivity on this filtrate, but you could also measure other things on this sample. So sodium, calcium, magnesium, potassium might be of interest. You could also do sulfate, bicarbonate, nitrate, or chloride. And we'll turn on our conductivity meter make sure it's on the right setting. You want to make sure that it's calibrated with a known solution and also that you're aware that temperature affects electrical conductivity. So we'll stick the probe into the solution. Just have it on a tilt so that the, it's immersed enough. And wait for it to stabilize. This meter is giving a value in microsiemens per centimeter. The standard unit for salinity is decisiemens per meter. So if you divide by a thousand, you get the same unit. So this is reading around 908 microsiemens per centimeter. So if we divide by a thousand, it's about 0.9 decisiemens per meter. That's a pretty low value. Four is considered a toxic level for most plants, and even two decisiemens per meter can be detrimental to plants that aren't tolerant. So after you're done your reading, you want to rinse off your probe with some distilled water, and then you're ready to take your next measurement or to store your probe.